I don't care what they do, they're not gonna get hurt tomorrow unless they tell me they're shutting down the business. When you think about what the, the power of the company is, it's really around the ecosystem and whether they're able to continue to attract developers to the platform who can then build on what Apple does. I absolutely do consider this a super refresh. Uh, from a refresh as far as what's gonna go in there, wireless charging, augmented reality, the only thing I care about is the release date of the next phone. If they're going to move it two weeks, I don't care. If they have supply side problems that they're going to be able to fix, I don't care. You know, we're at the end of the product cycle and everybody gives them a pass for whatever results they're going to provide because everybody's delaying their purchase for the next iPhone. We're talking about tens of millions of phones that people want to buy in September. And even if they delay it to October 1, no one's going to care. More importantly, as we look out over the next 12 to 18 months, the keys are whether Apple can execute on its big iPhone 8 cycle. My channel checks, what I hear from the company, my sources say this is going to be an upside call on the future of the phone. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.